Good morning, everybody, and welcome. Thanks for coming. So how do you achieve your goals? How do you achieve your dreams and your resolutions? Well, as it says in the classic book, Think and Grow Rich, it really helps to have a burning desire to achieve those, to really have a passion to succeed and really see your goal and your dreams ahead of you. To help you do this, one of the techniques that is suggested is auto-suggestion. And also, I would recommend this myself. And you can use things like visualizing so that you're seeing yourself achieving those goals, you're seeing yourself in that dream position, that dream job. You can actually see yourself in that picture. And also affirmations. So in the morning, you're saying to yourself that you are already achieving it, you're already doing the thing that you want to do. It's got to be something that you actually genuinely believe in and that it seems realistic. Thanks for volunteering. And what's your name? I'm Kate. Kate. Hi, Kate. Thanks very much. Right, I'm going to show Kate an example of this using the technique of kinesiology, also called muscle testing. So, Kate, can you just raise your arm and hold it very strong? I'm going to put some pressure on, and I want you to resist if you can, okay? Good, so that's very strong. And now, Kate, can you say the word succeed? Succeed. Okay, so succeed. succeed. Good, so that's still strong. Good, thank you. And now... See if you can notice a difference this time. Can you say the word fail? Fail. Okay, so still with your arm out, say fail. 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 Oh, right. So did you notice a difference? Yeah, it came down. <laughs> right. So you can really see that just by the words that we use, it has an impact on our physiology, on our bodies, and the energy as well. The cognitive behavioral approach really can help transform negative thought patterns and unhealthy behaviors. And also it has impact on the emotions, our physiology. But I'd also like to talk about other approaches, some of the more humanistic, phenomenological approaches. And one of those is the person-centered approach. And as you can see, the three core conditions within the person-centered approach are, number one, empathy. Being able to empathize with people. Being able to feel what it's like to be in their shoes. Secondly, unconditional positive regard. How often is it that we're able to really experience unconditional positive regard, to have no conditions placed on us, to have somebody just really appreciate us for who we are? Very important as well. And then thirdly, the element of congruence. And what is congruence? It's about being genuine. It's about being yourself, being there, for your client, for the people that you're working with. How often is it that we really feel just totally appreciated that there are no conditions placed upon us, that we are not being judged for everything that we do? I'd suggest not very often. So it is really nice when you can use this quality of unconditional positive regard. So is it true that facing the fear and doing it anyway really does enable you to overcome limiting beliefs, things that you once found scary? Absolutely, because by taking very small steps, one at a time, you can achieve these goals. So how do we achieve this? Well, with creativity, motivation and inspiration. <laughs>